Hey folks, how's it going? Welcome to another Old Timer Centre video. Today I'm showing you a very nice little 2008 W204 Mercedes-Benz C200 compressor. As you can see, it's finished in obsidian black. And it's a very tidy little car. This model's only just been replaced last year with the new C-Class and it still looks very current. It's Mercedes most popular model. They sell boatloads of these and as a result you're looking at really good resale values, easy parts, easily available servicing, low maintenance costs. Basically it's one of Mercedes world cars. The engineering that went into these was very impressive as is all Mercs. I remember when it came out that they said each door can hold the weight of a 100 kilo man sitting on the frame, just to give you an idea of how strong that is. Ours is complemented with black leather interior as well, it's very nice. I'll take you inside the car in a minute. I'm just going to show you some more of the practicality that this little C200 has to offer. Obviously being the compressor model, that's Mercedes torque for supercharger. So basically you get the economy of a four cylinder with the power of a six cylinder. And superchargers, they're, you know, they're not set to a certain rev band like turbos. They're much more reliable and they're always on tap. So this is a very deep boot and you do have these little handles here and that will fold the seats in front flat. Under the boot lining we have a full size spare with all Mercedes tools. It looks like it, actually it looks like it hasn't been used. It's definitely the factory original. Huge amount of tread, very deep. Uh, it might have been used once. In here, original first Mercedes first aid kit, and that's always another indicator of a Merc that hasn't been compromised if it's got its original first aid kit and its original warning triangle as well. So, stepping into the car, as you can see here. It's done a very low 69,526 original kilometers. That's not hardly anything for a Mercedes. And we've got obviously full log books. I'm just gonna fire it up for you now. And so basically we've got the interactive menu here. We can scroll through all kinds of information. We do have telephone capability as well. Just gonna put the windows up. Over to the right, we've got the automatic headlight feature, which is basically set and forget. The lights will come on when it's dark. It's like a twilight sentinel. Or you can do it the old fashioned way, parkers, mains, and pull out. One for front fogs, two for rear fogs. Over here, we've got telephone and it pairs up with this infotainment screen up here so we've got radio as well and if you don't want that showing it's very discreet and you can just close it away down here dual zone climate control and then we've got the five speed automatic which is routed to the rear wheels we also have a comfort and sports setting, which will correlate on the screen here. It currently says S. When I press comfort, it will go into comfort. Now what this feature does is basically, it, lets, it changes the shift parameters of the gearbox. If you're in comfort, the car will take off in second gear for a smoother ride. If you have it in sport, the engine will hold the gears longer and work a little bit harder. If you, you know, are after some more spirited driving through a mountain road or whatever. Up here we also have this 
this meter here. That's the parktronic at the front. So little lights will appear in there as you get closer to an object at the front. We have the same at the rear. We do have an auto dimming mirror. Very nice glass sunroof with obviously shade. And you know, very dark burled walnut. It's almost a piano black. Gonna shut it down now and I'll also will make mention it has got the upgraded Harman Kardon stereo. It's a great Logic 7 surround sound system. Comfortable seating for five adults. You can have three abreast in the back. They are afforded rear air conditioning as well. Another indicator of a Mercedes that has been taken care of is the tyres it's wearing. On this we have four very new Pirellis. The wheels are unmarked and the tyre size, let me try and find it for you. Here we are, it's 20555R16s. So it's a 16 inch wheel and tyre. Again, it's very hard to keep a black car perfect, but the paint on this is pretty great. And it has a few tiny little imperfections, little stone chip, but I mean, I haven't even touched that up or detailed that. And I mean, that's, that's absolutely nothing. All in all, great affordable transportation that's not gonna lose its value. It's readily sellable should you ever need to free up some money and just a gem to look at and drive. Just the engineering of these little cars. I don't understand why people would go out and say buy a new Mazda 3 or something when you could have the best that Germany has to offer for the same price. We are the old timer centre. We specialise in European prestige and classics. We always have about 70 vehicles in stock. And uh, we really look forward to talking to you further on this gorgeous little C200 compressor. Thank you, guys.